Hello everyone, welcome to my channel in School of Physics. Guys, today I have come up with another very amazing problem from fluid mechanics. And uh, in this problem, we will solve this without integration. It's a, an original problem. This video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And name of this problem is fluid statics without integration. So guys, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, advanced courses uh, on uh, solid and fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. They are going parallelly for JE 2021 in, in depth courses. These, these are theory courses, advanced plus plus level. And also guys, uh, my new batch is starting Aramb 2.0. It is starting uh, on 19th January. And uh, the team members here will be Mega Kandilwal uh, for organic chemistry, Vinit Lumba uh, uh, for uh, maths, Mr. Kapil Rana for uh, inorganic chemistry and uh, myself for physics and uh, Mr. Ashish Bibian for uh, physical chemistry. So you can see their profiles also and uh, you can access my all theory courses which are advanced plus plus levels for uh, boosting your JE advanced preparation and uh, of course they will be helpful for mains as well and you can unlock uh, other courses on unacademy using my code whenever it is uh, prompting for uh, passcode or uh, invite code you can use the code nitin search to access all the free courses available on uh, unacademy and these courses are uh, very well designed and in-depth courses trust me after doing that physics will never be the same again for you for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and here is the statement of uh, this problem in a vertic uh, in a inverted paraboloidal vessel with the opening at uh, both ends with liquids of densities uh, d naught and 2 d naught as shown outside the vessel in a container there is a liquid of density d1 it is given that for the given configuration of height h as shown so both the heights are given this uh, green liquid is also having a height h and this uh, uh, levels and uh, level of the paraboloid is also given as h so they are telling that uh, it is given that for a given configuration of height h as shown paraboloidal vessel is just about to be lifted off the floor what is the mass of the vessel and we have to assume that this uh, tube is of uh, negligible uh, cross-section area compared to the uh, paraboloid uh, available here so let's discuss this uh, problem here the concept wise uh, many fluid uh, statics problem i have uh, discussed earlier so you can access those uh, lectures or videos for uh, more detailed uh, concept of force calculation and we are going to apply those uh, calculations here those logics here and uh, we need to remember that well volume of paraboloid is a uh, half pi r square h it's a standard result normally people don't remember but i i'll, I'll suggest you to remember so that you can save a lot of time in uh, exam hall otherwise you have to perform integration and uh, you have to solve so this is much uh, easier to remember like we remember for cone 1 by 3 pi r square h for para paraboloidal it is going to be half pi r square h so if you see this uh, here this green liquid is going to apply force uh, in all directions in all directions right uh, on this uh, vertical tube i have drawn the exactly opposite direction it should have been like this force by the liquid on the tube that is having the direction like this and this is the current direction which i have taken they are actually forced by the tube on the liquid this density is given as uh, uh, you know d naught and similarly here this liquid which is inside it is going to apply force everywhere perpendicular to the surface and its net effect by symmetry i can say it is going to be in vertical direction i am calling this force as f1 all right and similarly here uh, the the this blue liquid which is outside uh, it is going to apply force in downward direction all right so uh, and due to symmetry you can say net effect will be in downward direction i'm calling it as f2 and it is given to us that uh, for this given configuration when this height is h and this height is also h uh, this paraboloid with this funnel is going to be 
लिफ्टेड ऑफ द फ्लोर सो एफ वन प्लस एफ वन इज गोइंग टू बी दिस द नेट अपवर्ड फोर्स शुड बी इक्वल टू एफ टू प्लस वेट ऑफ दिस कोन वेट ऑफ दिस पैराबोलेडल स्ट्रक्चर विद दिस ट्यूब that mass total mass uh, i'm taking as capital mg so let's calculate one by one these forces calculation of f2 i'm doing so f2 is this force f2 is this force which is uh, acting due to dark blue liquid on the paraboloidal uh, surface here so this is nothing but weight of the liquid above the surface because this much weight of the liquid is balanced by it so i think you can easily understand this is nothing but weight of the liquid above the surface so this is very easy from this bigger cylinder if i subtract volume of this uh, cone i am going to get the answer and this r not is given very very small compared to this so i can take this volume approximately equal to half pi r square h itself under the assumption this r not is very very small otherwise we have to bigger paraboloid minus smaller paraboloid will give us uh, the remaining volume if if it was comparable so however here the the calculations are very simple as long as you know the formulas you know the logic so f2 is going to be pi r square h uh, volume of bigger cylinder here and uh, minus volume of this paraboloid so you will get the volume of this remaining part here that is the its weight is going to be the value of f2 so i am going to get f2 as pi r square h d1 into g where d1 is the density of this liquid here this is 2 rho not 2 d not and this density is d not now the main part is the tricky part is calculation of force f1 so uh this force if you go through those videos where we have derived so whether liquid is present below the surface or it is present above the surface in both the cases forces are equal and for above the surface we know the logic uh, the weight of the liquid above the surface right but you need to maintain the original configuration of liquids like here the green one is present up to height h its density is d not and this force is uh, this liquid is having density of 2d not so when i'm going to write weight of the liquid above the surface i will take corresponding to this this entire part i'll take in green that is having density of d not and this part i'm going to take i'll show you again this part i'm going to take this volume and this volume i'm going to take as if it is from 2d not this is going to give us directly the value of f1 without integration and uh, but you need to be very very careful it is with respect to the orientation of uh, liquid which was present inside the vessel let's bring that liquid outside in the similar fashion and then weight of that liquid above the surface is going to be the answer for f1 this is the trickiest part here so now since we have done that in previous uh, videos don't forget to check those videos uh, they are helpful and it is extremely helpful because it will reduce your calculations drastically and uh, you don't see these things in uh, books easily so here uh, now imagine the weight of the liquid above the surface if i write i should have written like this pi r2 square minus r1 uh, square so that is like bigger area minus smaller area but you can see capital r is very very large compared to small r so approximately i can directly write this as pi capital r square h this is the volume and the liquid density here is d not d not into g plus uh, let's say this volume which we have calculated in the previous part also i'm calling this as v1 so v1 into 2d not into g this v1 is known to us this v1 was this cylinder minus this paraboloid all right so you can see here uh, this will become this will reduce to pi r square h d not g plus uh, pi r square h this cylinder here you can see this cylinder minus this paraboloid uh, minus half pi r square h into 2d not into g when we simplify this uh, we are going to get a very nice answer here 2 pi r square h d not g just see this this value is uh, pi r square h d not but if you just add this very thin funnel or thin tube here it and uh, take it to, uh, to a greater height this will make this force double of it 
isn't it crazy so now we can do once we have calculated this uh, we will calculate the uh, the mass m for the structure or for that uh, paraboloidal vessel so here i can use that f1 is going to be balanced uh, f2 plus mg just before lifting off and that moment normal reaction is zero so f1 is equal to f2 plus mg now i can write this m as f1 minus f2 times g so when i substitute these uh, values here i can substitute these uh, values here uh, that uh, f2 value i have calc f1 value i have calculated f2 i have calculated by g when i simplify this this is going to be the uh, mass of this uh, paraboloidal vessel along with the tube 2d not minus d1 by 2 times pi r square h this is going to be the final answer for this question uh, guys one more reminder uh, i am giving you those who are uh, starting for uh, j 2022 RM2 is starting on 19th Jan 2021 and just two days are left so uh, please let other people know in your circle those who will be interested in JE 2022 and wants to prepare with us and uh, another uh, very important uh, announcement is there is another mega batch that is also for JE 2022 is a starting and uh, by a very popular team of uh, uh, Vibrant Academy from Kota so these are all well-known faces this batch is starting on 20th Jan so wherever you can choose your uh, classes as per uh, your wish you can uh, you know an academy gives you the freedom to uh, to choose your uh, tutor educator whatever you call it all right so I hope this uh, problem and the uh, the concept behind this is uh, clear to you if you have enjoyed this video please like it share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it uh, thanks for watching it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you